Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to see Spring Boot service with Java project module system. Let's use Spring Initializer to create the Maven project. Uh, let's quickly define the uh, the uh, group ID and artifact ID. We are going to use Spring Java 11 and Spring version 2.3.3. com dot dev dot bok and the artifact is rest service with java project module system and we're going to add web as one of the dependencies let's quickly generate the maven project download it from spring initializer and open it in the uh, id java id Now we are going to create two sub modules within our project. One is data module, other is other one is the web module. The data module is going to expose the data layer as a list of string. The web module is going to consume the data service and expose it to the outer world as a rest endpoint. Let's quickly create the uh, two modules.
let's quickly run this project uh, run this application and see if we if we can access the endpoint from the browser uh, service is started at 8080 let's check this out in the chrome localhost 8080 slash data as you can see we are able to get the list of strings from the data size data service layer through a web service layer as a rest endpoint now let's convert this project to a java project model system we have created our module now we have to define the dependencies let's go to the data service impl you could see the spring dependency is not added we with help of ide we can add the dependency it adds uh, spring context as one of the dependency required by data service module and we can also define the java base as one of the required dependency for the data service impl for the data module sorry now we have defined the data service we have to expose this data service module to our web module so we are going to export using the keyword exports com dot service dot config dot the package name you have to define the package name com dot service dot data to to the web module since we have not yet created the web module a uh, module file for the web module let's go go, go ahead and create it we are expo we are exposing classes within the package data to the module web now the uh, packages is accessible from the web module only the data service and data service impl will be accessible from the web mod web mod to the web module from the data service module since we have defined the web module module.info file for the web module let's quickly resolve the compilation issues it says the config class is not accessible to so it is asking us to add the same in the module.info file in the data service so in order to expose the data service config we need to give permission to config package to the web module See, now it adds exports config package without any uh, restriction now we are giving restrict restricted access only to the web module to access the config classes under the config package let's quickly add the dependencies required so let's go to the rest, uh, rest service class and we have added two more dependencies required dependency let's go to the web module module.info class file 
as you can see we have added required dependencies uh, but this is just a compile time dependencies since we are using spring you, you will definitely have lots of runtime dependencies where spring uses reflection to add functionality to the pojos so what we are going to do is we are going to run the application start the application one by one and see if we can resolve the issue Uh, first we have got the first error it says spring doesn't code spring dot core doesn't have access to uh, classes under the web module through reflection so we need to open up our rest service simple poja class which is exposed as the rest controller for spring to use reflection and add functionality on top of it in order to do so we need to open up the rest module to the spring core let's add it in the uh, module.info class of web module Let's start the application. We will have multiple errors down the line. We will resolve one by one. The error which is shown now is data service does not open to Spring Core. We need to open the data service to the Spring Core as well.
Finally, we have successfully resolved all the runtime errors during application start. Let's see if we are able to access the endpoint. We are getting error. Let's see what the exception is. We are getting cannot access class because the web module does not expose to spring.web. Let's quickly add it to the web module. Let's see if we are able to access now. No, we are still getting error. So let's see what the error is. It, Spring is unable to convert the list array list to the as a HTTP JSON message. Message. So I think we need to add uh, J Jackson as one of the dependency required dependencies in web module which is used by the Spring to convert the POJOS into uh, JSON. Let's add quickly and restart the application. Let's, uh, let's test it again. As you can see, now we are able to access a list of uh, strings from the data service through web service model as a rest endpoint using the Java project model system. Uh, the code is available in the GitHub. As a recap, what we have done is we have initialized the project in the Spring Initializer using Spring Initializer. And we have created two modules, data service module and web module. Data service module exposes the data as a simple interface. The web module exposes the data service logic to the outer world as a REST endpoint. 